the long way. Our focus is really on assessing and therefore understanding human wildlife conflict. Malawi has one of the highest population growth rates in the world and an amazing array of different species live in this country. And so we're looking at trying to understand how the animals can live around the people and vice versa so that both can be successful in this area. You'll be helping us to do that by collecting data on carnivores, bats and birds and we're looking at those in areas of different amounts of human activity. So we have low, medium and high levels of human activity and then we're looking at monitoring these different key species in all of these different environments. Here with Opwal in Malawi, students will get to work with researchers like myself, um, collecting primary data on all kinds of animals. We do bats, birds, small mammals. That's all really interesting because nobody else is doing this work, and a lot of this data it just isn't out there. These are animals that are pretty understudied. And because you know we don't have the information, we don't know necessarily what animals we're losing as natural habitat is lost. Here in Malawi, students will learn how to use harp traps, mist nets, and conduct vegetation surveys as part of our biodiversity monitoring program. That data will be gathered in sites ranging from really high disturbance, gardens, that kind of thing, to really low disturbance. We have several sanctuaries within the city limits. That data is really useful, not just for us, because we get to see how land use change affects populations and species distribution, but it also goes on to like the city council, um, private landowners, who can then use that to inform their land management. So, in addition to our research, in the long way we also do a lot of outreach work, you know, and that ranges from education to human wildlife conflict mitigation. One of the things that we've done is have students interact with students here and work through conflict mitigation exercises or out on actual workshops where we talk with people, answer questions about conflicts that they're having and help them learn you know, what it takes to help mediate human wildlife issues. As we start to encroach more and more on natural areas, people are only going to come into more contact with wildlife. So human wildlife conflict mitigation is a skill that anybody wanting to go into wildlife conservation could really, really use. So after the students leave us here in the long way, they travel up to Nkata Bay to conduct the aquatic part of their research. Our research site here in Nkata Bay is on the shores of Lake Malawi. Uh, it's one of the most biodiverse freshwater lakes in the world and um, when students are here they're going to be likely to see many different species of cichlids. There's about 850 species described here um, and it's also at altitude diving so it's a bit different than most of the other operational sea and dive sites. So when students arrive on site here, they can either complete their full paddy open water dive training course, or if they're already qualified or work with a snorkel, they can complete our Lake Malawi ecology course. This trains them on um, cichlid identification, as well as um, an introduction to the lake itself from a conservation point of view. 
What's also really exciting about this site is we have access to a remote operated vehicle, which allows us to survey depths that the divers cannot get to. Once we complete video analysis, this data is used along with our visual transect data to better understand the species stratification in the lake and how it has gotten so biodiverse. After the students have finished their research on Lake Malawi, they then have the opportunity to travel to Luwande National Park for a more relaxed experience uh, where they get to see a true range of the wildlife that Malawi has to offer.